Well, Senator Marco Rubio is once again raising questions and concerns about the immigration reform bill that he helped to write. Appearing on this week, the Florida Republican said that if the measure is going to win passage, it needs beefed up border security measures added to it. The vast majority of Americans, the vast majority of conservative Republicans are prepared to support immigration reform, but only if we can ensure that we're not going to have another wave of illegal immigration in the future. The Senate is just a few days into its debate over that landmark bill that would give an estimated 11 million people who are here now in the country illegally a path to citizenship. Rubio is not alone. Several GOP lawmakers are demanding tighter border security be tied to the Gang of Eight's bill. Senator David Vitter, a Republican from Louisiana, is one of those who wants tougher security provisions, also says the bill is a budget buster. Senator, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, Shannon. Thanks for the invite. I want to ask about this I the issue with the budget. You say that you're going to file a budget point of order. What does that mean? How does it work for this bill? Well, right now there is $8.3 billion of spending in the bill. And rather than uh, live with our budget caps and deal with it in a responsible way under our budget caps, the authors of the bill just call all of that emergency spending. So none of the rules apply. None of the budget rules apply. None of the budget caps apply. That's a complete cop-out and busting the budget discipline that we're working very hard to begin to impose. So my point of order would challenge that, that so-called emergency designation. Uh, this is a serious issue, but it's completely foreseen. It's not like a, a nat unforeseen natural disaster or an enemy attack. It's completely foreseen. Are there a number of different amendments that have been offered that will be offered? Uh, one by your yeah. colleague, uh, uh, Senator Chuck Grassley, Republican. Um, there was an amendment that essentially yeah. was voted down because it's been tabled and it won't come back. But it was about tying border control uh, and making sure that it's done, having a timeline that it's actually verified and locked down before uh, those who are here illegally can start uh, down that pathway to citizenship. It was voted down. Essentially, my understanding of the bill is what it, what it does contain is that the Department of Homeland Security simply has to create and submit a plan, not actually that the borders be certified as locked down. So if there are those on the Hill who are saying, all right, it needs to have teeth so that the American people can support it, why vote down amendments like the one Grassley offered? Well, that's exactly the question. Of course, I voted for it, but the gang of eight and all the Democrats voted it down. And so I think this is the central question, the central issue. Are we going to actually verify that border security and workplace security is working, not just on paper, but in practice before these legalizations take place? To me, that is the central question. And the fatal flaw that has existed in the Gang of Eight approach and previous approaches, like the 1986 immigration reform bill. What's going to happen in the House? I mean, even if something does get passed through the Senate, which in all likelihood it will, although we don't know exactly the contours of what the Senate will finally vote on. <clears throat> if you get to the House, um, you know, there's talk over there, I think, of the House Judiciary Committee chair, Bob Goodlatte, who says it's going to be something radically right. different, uh, what they come up with in the House. And he says, you know, they don't want to pass something that just squeaks by um, with just enough Republican votes, that if you're going to do something that's this important, right. he wants to see the vast majority of Republicans sign on and that they won't sign on to what's coming out of the Senate. How do you think this is ultimately resolved on the Hill? Well, first of all, I don't think it's clear that uh, some version of Gang of Eight is going to pass the Senate. I don't think it can pass with 60 votes right now. That's why Marco Rubio and others are talking about an amendment so that they can get it over that finish line. In the House, Bob Goodlatte, chair of uh, judiciary, is talking about a fundamentally different approach, a step-by-step -step approach, doing things in a certain order so that we can see enforcement actually working and actually verified before other things like big legalization happens. Do you think there's any chance the rules are going to be changed in the Senate when it comes to getting to the 60 votes to be able to proceed on things? Uh, I think about immigration. I think about judges that you're voting on and other issues right. where there's starting to be this talk of changing the rules so that you can break the gridlock. Right. Well, there's been that talk for a while, but what would be required for the Democrats to do that is to actually break the rules in order to change the rules. Harry Reid has promised he's not going to do that, at least for all of this Congress through 2014. He's promised that publicly many different times. Now, he could walk away from that. He could break his promise, and then his word would, would be worth nothing, but we'll see. All right, Senator David Vitter, happy Father's Day to you. Thanks, Thanks for Shannon. your time. Thank you very much.